mighty flagship currently serves as a prison for the Lassie apprehended in Nautilus. So what's with the freak show? So the Primarch can stand in judgment of the villainous Lassie. With their execution as the climax, the people will cheer their demise, and Falsi dominion will be undisputed. All part of the plan? Yes, but it also presents an opportunity. In a display of unwavering dedication to duty, the Primarch himself has boarded the Palamecia and focused his personal attention on resolving the Pulse Crisis. They're baiting us, trying to draw us out. Bait, huh? Yeah, that's right. Here are your friends. Come and get them. Well, if they're daring us to mount a rescue, I'll take that action. All in. Alrighty, bets are on the table. We leave when you're ready. I'll be standing by. This baby back here is a Psycom vessel. It'll deliver you to the Palamecia. Oh, we're cargo now? A parting gift to our rotting government. Take those Psycom guys apart. And we're supposed to take on all of them? I think the whole division's on board. I don't care how many lackeys they've got. Bring them on. Vanille's in there. I'm sure she's fine. Vanille's tougher than I could ever be. Hope, are you scared? <laughs> yeah, I'm terrified. But I'll be okay. Because I have you, and this guy, and Fang. We're all in this mess. We gotta stick together. <laughs> right. Enough with the bonding. It's go time. <laughs> what do you mean, this guy? didn't expect to see you here in person, your eminence. This crisis threatens the entirety of Cocoon, my child. You agree that standing at the fore is a leader's charge? Wholeheartedly. It also affords a splendid view of the impending execution. What's the hold up? Stand by. Verifying identification code. You let me land this bird or I'll crash her into your ass. <sighs> code verified. You're free to dock. That damn time. Let's tear him up. 
We're here for Vanille and Saz. Stay focused. Won't be going back that way. We'll find another route. Way ahead of you. See that? Let's go. Why can't I do it? Mm. I got no reason to keep living. I can't even kill you. You should be proud. Your son's a hero. The boy who saved Cocoon. We'll erect a memorial in Eden and put his crystal on display. A memorial? He's a little boy! As the son of a pulseless sea, he would have lived in shame and misery. Isn't it better he be treated with reverence? as a monument to sacrifice. <laughs> the next time your eyes open will be the last. means Dodge will wake up one day too, right? <sighs> what was it like? I mean, how did it happen? It, you were done with your focus, right? I was chosen. I was made into a lassie to fight against Cocoon. It happened back on Grand Pulse. Hundreds of years ago. We finished our focus. And we fell into a long crystal sleep. Let us through! Block our way, you die! You trying to get him angry? Yeah, I thought maybe they'd run. There's been enough oh. blood spilled. You thought they'd run? Let me refresh your memory. Those soldiers think they're protecting Cocoon from the sea. The Falci have them all brainwashed. Falci? Uh, I have had it. We cannot let this go on. Attention all crew. Code green. Repeat. Code green. Security forces stand by. Hostile forces on board. Code green. Attention all crew, code green. Repeat, code green. Security forces stand by. Hostile forces on board, code green. Uh -huh. 
Get up. You're being moved. On your feet, scum. You too. Get up. Time to split. Not run. There's a difference. Gotcha. <laughs> Let's go. Do I deserve to escape? What? You'd rather die? Because that's got to scare you. Scares me. Scares me so much, I think I might die of fright. So, I've pushed myself to live even harder. I, I can just imagine Dodge laughing at me talking this nonsense. <laughs> right now, <laughs> I'd do anything to see that smile. <laughs> Stay positive, right? Code purple. I repeat, code purple. Security breach. All units on alert. Code purple. Looks like we ain't the only ones cleaning house. Could be Lucy. Could be Fang. Come on, let's hurry. Let's go get rescued. Uh -uh. No, not this time. For once in my life. I am going to save her. <laughs> All right, now you're talking. Let's go. <laughs> code purple, I repeat, code purple. Security breach. All units on alert, code purple. All these colors, what's it mean? It means we're doing our job. Making a lot of Psycom guys nervous. <sighs> Who are they fighting? Anil. We've lost the intruders. That means we're code yellow. No, wait. Code blue? If we were orange, that would mean... The escapees made it through. They're entering the engine room. No. Damn, let's see. Intruders located. They're on the weather deck, starboard side. <sighs> Make it rain. Desperate time. Demand flexibility. Code white. Isn't this great? The wind, it's dying down. Yeah, it's stopping. And we're decelerating. They up to something? I don't suppose it could just be, I don't know, good luck? That looks a lot more like bad luck. You got a point. Not to me. That, that we can do something about. <sighs> <sighs> figure this makes us lucky because when we kill it we're one step closer to vanille how's that well when you put it that way another one one 
big fat stroke of luck after another. I'm so happy I could cry. <laughs> Tease us, will ya? Come down here! Vanillo! Bang! There you are. Ah, miss me? Like you, the monster! Where? What's wrong? Huh? Oh, uh, <laughs> nothing. <laughs> nothing. Uh, so, uh, what's on the agenda? Uh, toppling the sanctum? No. I mean, really. He's serious. We're gonna take down the sanctum and give Cocoon back to the people. The Falci have called the shots for long enough. If we pull this off, it'll be a miracle. Well... Good thing Lady Luck's on our side. <laughs> More of them? You know, this is getting really old. Check this out. A miracle. Grand Pulse style! Uh... Vanille, go fish. Got it! That's a good girl. All right. Let's get on. I also believe that if we stuck together, somehow we could change our fate. Isley's through there. We're still gonna have our talk. So let's survive this first, yeah? Right. Hmm. Been looking for you, Nabat. Please escape. I'll cover 
Why don't you leave, Jill? Or rather, take your leave. Humans have no business here. What? Your eminence! <laughs> what? <sighs> Magic? <laughs> Monster! People are not yours to use! What else does one do with tools? Cocoon is a factory built by Valsi. A factory for the mass production of human thralls. Not anymore, it's not. What can mere men do? Without our help, Death is all of which you're capable. You saw the fools, a mindless mob drunk on fear of a few Lassi. If they only knew, a Lassi was the one filling their glasses! Lassi? <laughs> you mean me? <laughs> oh, child, perish the thought. I am more than that! I am Falsi. My name is Martandalus. Voice of the Sanctum and Lord Sovereign of the Cocoon Falsi. Your kind feared the darkness. So, we gave you light. You begged us for the purge. And did it not come to pass? Now you spurn our counsel. You must learn your place. The Falci running the Sanctum. Then, I guess it wasn't Eden controlling things after all. As I said, ah! I am Lord Sovereign. <laughs> I guess Foul C don't go down as easy as the rest of us. Ease is not the issue. You have not fought to win. You should know quite well already the sure way of dispatching our kind. Ragnarok. What's Ragnarok? Ah! Ah! Oh! The sea. You've forgotten your focus. Ragnarok is the beast one of you must become in order to lay waste to Cocoon. You have had the dream. One among you will become that monstrosity. Defeat Orphan and destroy Cocoon. Orphan? The font of Eden's power. Orphan fuels Eden with strength, and Eden in turn sustains you and the rest of our kind. Destroy Orphan, and you'll release a force such as this world has never seen. Cocoon will be torn asunder. So if I did that, destroyed Orphan? <laughs> Your focus will be fulfilled. So what? Who says it has to be? <laughs> Sarah asked us to save Cocoon before she turned to crystal. Save it! And that's what we're gonna do. Sarah was trying to tell us how to complete our focus, and we have... <laughs> Allow me to help you see the truth of things. The moment you arrived, your friend wept crystal tears. This was because her focus required that you be brought together. That girl did nothing but assemble the tools for Cocoon's destruction. Did it never occur to you? 
Or did you simply refuse to countenance the thought? If you will not face the truth, then face the peril of your plight. See, see how stark reality is. Come on. This is bad. The yoke's jammed! What? Knew it was a trap! Uh, something's coming! <sighs> Not so fast, Lassie. Hang on! <laughs> What kind of ship is this? Fighting on its own? Clever, aren't you? Can we do something? Got me? I give up! Sad, look out! <laughs> <laughs> 